Hi, this is Stanley from Centonomy and welcome to another Tutorial Thursday. This week we are going to be talking investments, specifically shares. And today we are going to learn about how to actually buy shares on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. Let's start at the basic level. What are shares? A share is basically a part ownership of a business. So for example, if you buy shares for Equity Bank, we're talking about you are now a part owner of equity bank the entire equity bank okay same thing for any company that you buy it's about trading in ownership next you need to open a cdsc account i repeat cdsc account because you yourself are not able to go to the stock market and buy and sell shares then you need to open this account and you do this by visiting or researching your preferred stock, uh, stock broker or investment bank they are the ones who will actually do the, the transactions on behalf of you. Are you together? So open a CDSC with your preferred stockbroker or investment banker. Next, how many shares do I need to buy? You only need to buy a minimum of 100 shares. For example, if Safaricom is trading at 12 shillings per share, all you need is 1200 shillings and you can buy safaricom shares okay so you buy a minimum of 100 shares and then you trade or buy and sell in incremental or in multiples of 100 uh, of 100 shares so you, you can buy 1200 1300 you know 1600 1100 okay so multiples of 100 shares the next question and this is a common one how do i know which shares to buy and the, the question you need to ask yourself is, what type of business do you want to be involved in? Because you're going to be an owner of the business. You obviously want to be involved in a good, strong business. A business that's going to grow, a business that's going to make profits. Those are the shares you want to buy. So that leads me to the point of research. Research, research, research. Research is key. In, in order to identify the best company, the company with the best prospects for growth or the company that is already quite strong. This will make you buy shares at a low, low value and then you can sell them when the price goes up or rather buy low, sell high. That's the basic principle in terms of shares, okay? Let's talk about how long do you need to have these shares. Shares are long-term investments. Those who trade in shares in, in the short term actually take on quite a lot of risk. It is very advisable to have a long-term outlook when you're buying shares. And this just also boils down to the issue of ownership. Buy a business that you are going to or are willing to be part of for the long term. Because over the long term, the daily ups and downs of the stock market are mitigated by the long-term effect where the shares will over time go up so have that just long-term outlook when you're buying shares the next thing we are going to talk about is when do you sell the idea is to sell when the price is high so though you may buy with a long-term outlook always constantly track always constantly track the the progress of your shares so that in case an opportunity arises then you are ready to sell your shares for example you may buy shares uh, from say for example Kenya Airways those are KQ shares and we are, you have a long-term outlook you're going to keep your eye on KQ shares so that one day if by chance an opportunity arises for a good profit then you take your opportunity don't simply buy your shares and put them in your back pocket and forget about them shares you have to be active with them you have to co constantly be gathering information constant tracking how they are going and that's basically how you buy shares idea is buy low sell high shares are one of the most preferred investments because you are able to use uh, small amounts of money to grow your investment you do not contrary to popular uh, information you do not need to be very rich to buy shares you can actually start at whatever level you are buy shares and grow this over 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 time diversify your portfolio and that means that don't put all your eggs in one basket okay so I would urge you to have a look, go and open your CDS account, buy the newspapers that are telling you about what's going on with these companies, research companies before you buy. Speculation is not an investment strategy. 
let me repeat that speculation is not an investment strategy we are looking for people who are making decisions from a point of information as opposed to a point of speculation so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial thursday make sure you subscribe to the centonomy 101 youtube channel here and you watch all the videos there are so many tips for you so many things for you to learn and so i'll catch you next week on another tutorial thursday thank you